Hi, welcome to this Cloud Foundation overview on software-defined networking. My name is Andrew Firth and I'm a senior architect from the Cloud Foundation team. Software-defined networking delivered through vSphere and NSX is a key enabler in delivering a true private cloud. In this short video today, I'm going to take you through what software-defined networking is, its benefits, and why it's so important. I'll then take you through how software-defined networking is deployed and configured through VMware Cloud Foundation. Networking is a core component of VMware Cloud Foundation's software-defined capabilities. Cloud Foundation provides a platform which addresses the networking and security needs of today's business. Networking no longer needs to be complex and manual in nature. New switched and routed networks and networking services can be provisioned quickly in software without having to reconfigure the underlying hardware infrastructure. Networking can be easily changed to adapt to the needs of virtual machine-based and containerized modern applications. It can be scaled quickly when needed, all while being intrinsically secure through every layer of the SDDC stack. What makes Cloud Foundation different is that it's automated and lifecycle managed. And automation ensures these networking services can be delivered rapidly and with a consistency to meet demand and improve time to market. Traditional networking as we know it is typically deployed using physical switching and routing devices, each which are all individually configured and managed. As the network scales over time, it becomes increasingly difficult to manage these devices individually. Moves, adds and changes add further complexity as application needs also change. And the challenges don't end there. Additional firewall and load balancing services also need to be deployed, configured and managed through their life cycle. These devices are typically only deployed to the perimeter of the network. Applications are connected as endpoints to each and every physical device. And in a traditional network, each application requires its own path to be configured separately. So for example, each and every application may require a configuration to be made at the firewall, a load balancer, a VLAN tags applied at the switches, and routing at the firewall level. In addition to this being complex and time consuming to configure, each application has to traverse the entire network, which is inefficient from a traffic flow perspective. What ends up happening is that this places unnecessary load on the network hardware and causes additional lag to the application. Troubleshooting is also challenging with all of these devices and enforcement points to manage. Was it the VLAN that was not configured properly? Was it the port type? Or maybe the firewall rule? It can often take a long time to figure out the answers to these questions. To put it simply, traditional networking is hardware based and traditional networking is not application-centric. Each device needs to be managed and configured separately. Operations and change management is complex. It often involves many teams, and scheduled maintenance often takes long periods of time. With all of these different dependencies and manual configuration, there are many places where things can go wrong and with limited visibility. The new age of networking is no longer focused on hardware configuration. The new age of networking is centered around the application. SDN is inbuilt into Cloud Foundation, and that makes a big difference because the network becomes easier to deploy and manage. Cloud Foundation delivers SDN using NSXT, which allows you to easily visualize your application, your network, and your security topology, and apply automated security policy recommendations and continuous flow monitoring. Also, by detaching network functions from the hardware layer, firewall functions, IPS, IDS, and load balancing can be centrally managed and controlled, which allow for faster, more targeted scalability. The principles behind software-defined networking are focused on building a standardized and repeatable infrastructure by abstracting networking away from the complexities associated with physical infrastructure. Hardware configuration becomes simplified and standardized and focused on redundancy and high availability. The physical network remains, but now it is just a hardware medium which software can now leverage for packet transport and policy management and enforcement. 
Infrastructure is dynamic and flexible to suit the changing needs of today's applications. And operationally, enforcement is managed centrally and at a per VM level, rather than at multiple points in the infrastructure. In a SDN deployment, networking services are programmatically distributed to each virtual machine independently of the underlying network hardware. Application workloads can be dynamically added or moved, and all the networking and security services attached to the virtual machine move with it, anywhere in the data center. Through the use of NSX, VCF reproduces the entire networking stack in software within each virtual network. It offers a distributed logical architecture for layer two to layer seven services, including logical switching, routing, firewalling, intrusion protection, load balancing, and others. Let's now take a look at how Cloud Foundation implements these software-defined networking and security capabilities. To facilitate a simple and fast deployment, Cloud Foundation is initially configured with four VLANs. The Deployment Parameters Worksheet used for the initial deployment of Cloud Foundation contains user-defined inputs which configures these four VLANs for the management domain. It's important to plan for scale when defining these subnets as they can't be changed later. The example here shows a configuration which includes the recommended MTU settings required by both the hardware and the software components. Many Cloud Foundation customers are looking to deploy a fully functional SDDC platform, which further extends the capabilities of NSX. And it's for this reason that VMware recommends considering a minimum of seven VLANs when planning your deployment. So over the next few slides, we'll further discuss overlay networks and the purpose of an NSX Edge cluster, which utilizes these additional three VLANs. Understanding Cloud Foundation networking is key to planning and scaling a deployment. Here is a quick recap of overlay networking, which we introduced in the networking deep dive video. Cloud Foundation integrates the deployment of NSXT as part of an SDDC platform. Each ESXi host is configured as an NSX transport node. Each NSX transport node is configured with host tunnel endpoint IP addresses, shown here in light blue. These taps create a full fabric mesh between all of the NSX transport nodes. The host tap network is better known as an overlay network and provides the basis for software-defined networking. The taps on each host are the on and off ramp to the mesh. Customers can start leveraging SDN immediately after bring up. NSXT Manager can be used to deploy logical networks dynamically when they are needed. These logical segments tunnel through the NSX host overlay over the top of the physical network. Being software defined, these logical segments can be quickly deployed and just as easily pulled down. Virtual machines and container services can be connected to one another on these logical segments. Logical segments within the overlay can be switched and routed to one another using software controls within NSXT Manager. This allows administrators to make networking changes dynamically, which are completely independent of the physical network. Logical segments within the NSX overlay require an NSX Edge cluster to provide a gateway to the physical data center network. NSX Edge clusters provide ingress and egress access and can be used to provide networking services such as routing, firewalling, NAT, and other centralized services. At this point, any logical segments within the NSX overlay do not have connectivity to the physical external network. By default, workload domains are not configured with a gateway to connect logical segments to the external network. Workloads are isolated unless VLAN back networks are configured in NSX or vCenter server. SDDC Manager provides automated workflows to configure NSX Edge clusters with two-tier routing to provide north-south routing and network services. An NSX Edge cluster provides a gateway for the logical SDN segments to the external or physical data center network. Connecting these logical segments to a gateway inside an NSX Edge cluster provides physical connectivity to the external network outside of the Cloud Foundation deployment. The NSX Edge cluster can also be configured to provide a selection of stateful networking services, 
including but not limited to a service defined firewall, load balancing, NAT, VPN, and other centralized services. SCDC Manager provides the automation to configure NSX Edge clusters as a post deployment operation. By utilizing and consuming overlay networks and Edge services provided by NSXT, customers can configure and consume elastic, cloud like networking and security capabilities in software, completely abstracted from physical hardware. An NSX Edge cluster within Cloud Foundation comprises of two or more Edge nodes, which have connectivity to the overlay network as well as the physical network. The Edge nodes encapsulate and decapsulate traffic so it can traverse between logical SDN segments and the physical data center network. The NSX Edge cluster is controlled and accessed from the management network. NSX Edge cluster nodes are configured with their own TEPs on their own VLAN. The NSX Edge TEPs need to be routable so that they can communicate directly with the host TEPs on each ESXi host using the overlay network. Edge nodes are also configured with two uplinks used to pass traffic between the SDN network into and out of the physical network. Each of these uplinks are trunked and configured with IPs on an additional set of unique VLANs. The NSX Edge cluster consists of one or more Tier 1 gateway instances which route traffic east-west between segments and a Tier 0 gateway for north-south traffic and two uplinks which connect it to the physical data center network. Edge clusters can also be configured for additional networking services such as load balancing and firewall security. When using overlay networks for dynamic routing, a set of upstream routers will need to be configured for BGP peering. While it is possible to configure NSX Edge clusters with static routes, static routing by nature requires manual configuration on the physical network, which will need to be manually changed when any modifications further down the track are made. Cloud Foundation uses BGP, which provides a more flexible alternative to static routing, allowing you to configure a truly dynamic software-defined networking capability. VMware Cloud Foundation deploys NSX Edge clusters as a pair of NSX Edge transport nodes. These are VMs, and these are configured at a per workload domain level or a per cluster level. So the diagram we can show here is an example of a traffic flow from a logical segment out to the physical network when BGP is used. Encapsulated traffic originating from a logical SDN segment, which is connected to the NSX Edge cluster, traverses the T1 router through the T0 router, where it is decapsulated and sent out to the physical network via the two uplinks. Cloud Foundation includes inbuilt automation to deploy and scale private cloud infrastructure. The configuration of NSX Edge cluster is a post deployment process which is automated through SDDC Manager. NSX Edge clusters within a Cloud Foundation deployment are deployed to support several use cases. The first is to configure Kubernetes workload management to support running both containers and VM services on the Cloud Foundation platform. The second is to configure application virtual networking for regional and cross-regional mobility and DR or vRealize components. And the third option being custom for connectivity between logical SDN segments and external data center networks. SCDC Manager provides several configuration options to satisfy these different use cases. The user can first select how the NSX cluster is to be used, which then adjusts the automated deployment workflow. A small, medium, large, or extra large form factor can be selected, as well as high availability options, such as active-active, or active standby. NSX Edge clusters can be deployed per domain, per cluster, or across domains using inbuilt automation from within SCDC Manager or by using the API. New to Cloud Foundation 4.3 is the ability to expand and shrink NSX Edge clusters as an automated workflow within SCDC Manager. Edge cluster expansion and shrinkage allows VCF operators to scale the right level of resources on demand without having to size for demand up front. 
An example of where this feature is useful is with consolidated deployments. Customers who wish to deploy VCF with Tanzu as a post-deployment operation can scale their existing NSX Edge clusters to accommodate the change of scale. Existing NSX Edge clusters of two or more nodes can be expanded by eight nodes to a total of 10 nodes, and existing NSX clusters of three or more nodes can be shrunk to a minimum of two nodes. So let's now talk about security. Understanding traffic flows is a crucial step in implementing security at a data center level. With traffic moving from north-south to east-west, attack patterns have also shifted from vertical to lateral. Perimeter firewalls are highly specialized appliances which are best utilized to secure the network perimeter. They are sized to perform within certain performance specifications of packets per session or packets per second and for raw throughput. Using a perimeter firewall to secure east-west traffic quickly creates a choke point. Simply adding more perimeter firewalls or scaling up existing firewalls to cope with the extra load is not going to solve the problem. It's important to remember that perimeter firewalls are not generally deployed close to the applications and servers that use them. They are typically deployed at the edge of the data center network. Traffic in many cases ends up traversing through the whole network, which is not a good thing. We call this traffic tramboning. In a traditional network topology, traffic sent from a source application would have to hairpin to a perimeter firewall before it could then just be passed to the destination application. For packets to be returned, traffic would need to follow the same path back to the originating application. This isn't highly efficient and introduces several challenges. Using a perimeter firewall to secure inter-VM traffic generally doesn't provide the granular level of security required to protect your applications. And regular firewall traffic outside of the VLAN often bounces back and forth around the data center, which is inefficient and often introduces lag. With the majority of traffic in the data center being east-west, we can see different communication patterns within the same VLAN or between VLANs, or between VLANs or between different availability zones and data centers, and also towards zones outside the data center, such as a DMZ or other external networks or the internet. These communication patterns are north-south. So the challenge lies in having a solution that serves all of these conditions. Distributed firewalling is a core component of NSX, which in turn is implemented and ready to configure within the Cloud Foundation platform. In VMware Cloud Foundation, network traffic steering is completely removed from the process of implementing security policy for the simple reason that it's directly connected to every virtual machine. In other words, security is omnipresent at the very first and last hop. With security decoupled from both traffic steering and IP addressing, flatter and more simplistic networking and application topologies can be achieved. For example, web and app tiers can be on the same network segment, separated by the software policies applied to the network segment or to the underlying VM or workload. Changes in the application landscape have triggered changes in the way we implement security, which now spans well beyond just the perimeter. With application architectures becoming more complex and having more specific dependencies, Basic segmentation based on VLANs and IP ranges just isn't enough. Using micro-segmentation through NSX provides the granular level of security required at the application level. The ideal way to secure your applications is to implement a zero trust model to protect every traffic flow to every application inside the data center. Achieving this level of protection and granularity within a traditional firewall, however, is cost prohibitive and not feasible operationally, as traffic would need to be hairpinned to a central firewall and virtual machines segmented on individual VLANs. Cloud Foundation leverages NSX to deploy micro-segmentation in your data center. Isolation and segmentation are two features of micro-segmentation which are pivotal to modern network security. Isolation is the foundation of network security, whether for compliance, containment, or separation of development, 
test in production environments. Segmentation like isolation is a core capability of NSX. A virtual network can support a multi-tier network environment, and this allows for either multiple layer two segments with layer three isolation or a single tier network environment where workloads are all connected to a single layer two segment using distributed firewall rules. The NSX Edge Load Balancer implementation within Cloud Foundation provides high availability by distributing network traffic between multiple virtual servers. It distributes incoming service requests among multiple servers in such a way that the load distribution is transparent to users. Load balancing helps in achieving optimal resource utilization, maximizes throughput, minimizes response time, and avoids overload. NSX load balancing in VCF provides load balancing up to layer seven. And that concludes our overview of software-defined networking. Please review our catalog of additional videos on TechZone to further familiarize yourself with other key Cloud Foundation concepts. My name is Andrew Firth from the Cloud Foundation Technical Marketing Team. Thanks for tuning in.